Well, I mean, the principle of the Ukraine facility is that uh, payments are done on the basis of delivery of the reforms. So, indeed, uh, yesterday we adopted our positive assessment that Ukraine has done, uh, has met the preconditions um, agreed for uh, the disbursement of this uh, additional 4.1 billion euros. Of course, the next steps is that now this is in the hands of the Council uh, to, um, to, 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 to confirm that, uh, that they agree with our assessment. Um, and then, of course, the timing of the disbursement uh, is a bit in the hands of the Council. Once the Council gives the green light, then, of course, the Commission can proceed. Uh, then the Commission can obviously proceed with the payment. Um, the President herself has, uh, has already said that we hope that this payment can still be done uh, this year. And then, uh, once this happens, uh, we would reach basically 16 billion uh, euros already dispersed under the facility uh, for Ukraine this year. Um, obviously, uh, the reforms undertaken by Ukraine um, are clearly contributing towards uh, the EU reforms uh, necessary for the country to continue um, progressing on its EU path. Um, and uh, we would very much welcome on our side and hope that um, we are able to open uh, the accession uh, talks already on the fundamentals cluster uh, with Ukraine, hopefully uh, uh, next year. But, of course, this is also a bit in the hands of the Council. So um, this is what we can tell you. Thank you so much.